Hello, everyone. Uh, let's get the disclaimer out of the way. Oh my God, how do you watch the episodes? Get a VPN, a VPN, and specific I use Tuttle Bear, but you can use whatever you're most comfortable with because I'm not sponsored by these VPNs. So do it. I just, I'm just saying it now because people say, well, what, what do you use to watch? I'm like, yeah, you wanna know what? Why don't I say which one I use to watch? So in specific, I use uh, Tunnel Bear. I go to the Coro Coro YouTube channel, C O R O C O R O, C O R O. Yeah, Coro Coro said the country to Japan, and that's how I watched the episode. With that being said, let's begin. Uh, I love this episode. I like it. Look, animation is not crazy or anything like that, but it's just a cool dynamic because you got Drum and Louie. And I, I think these characters are made just to interact with each other because it, it's such a good pairing. Drum has so much high energy. And, you know, Volta and Rantor are going to uh, plan. And uh, uh, Shu, I guess, is being emo in the corner. And I guess she was like, all right, I'll take my leave. So Rantaro basically kind of like, you know, gives it to him. He's like, hey, why are you partnering with Lane? Because he broke Ranjiro's bay and he broke Hikaru and Kyuga's bay. I don't know what she says, but he's probably saying something like, well, I want to win or whatever. I, I'm, I'm just assuming that he's pulling up facade. Maybe, 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 maybe losing to Lane is what broke Shu. He's like, you all know what, this is all I got now. I think because, I, I just think he's just trying to bond with Lane. That's the whole reason. That's what I've been saying. Comments have said this too, so I'm not the only one. Uh, and you get this cool moment with uh, Louis and uh, Drum talking, and it's really funny. And you see like this little chibi Drum talking about his training that he did back in GT. And I like it. I like it. There's like the one time you see because it, it's fun moments, and like I don't, I don't, I think the pacing on this one was good. So what I find really funny is that they're, they they focus on Volt, and they ignore, <laughs> they don't see Rintaro as a threat. And for the ad, man, that's pretty cold. Like, I know Clan Ragnarok's not that good, but come, come, come on. Anyways, the battle starts, and Volt and Rantaro both head towards with Rage Longinus, and they see uh, Louis sees this, and he evades both of them. Longinus then after takes uh, Ragnarok head on, and then after oh, uses the Speedstorm plate, then it takes Ragnarok head on. Uh, then after Dragon goes after Valkyrie. Valkyrie decides to use the speed, the the, surge, the storm plate, I guess, and then after goes after Dragon. Uh, Rantaro is pushing back Louis with his tornado. Dragon powers up, and Louis also. Yeah, so yeah basically they, they they eliminate Rantaro right away. It's uh, good to know Rantaro is a good place on the team. So this is the best like sort of thing. This is the best moment. It reminds me of season one. Louis going towards Vault, and I, that has to be the season. Actually, you want to know what? The shot's probably going to be when he does the raging upper. But dude, uh, Vault, like Drum is Drum is helping Louis, and Dragon basically hits Valkyrie. So Valkyrie tilts, and Longinus wins with raging upper. So dude, Vault can't beat Louis. <laughs> has, Vault just can't beat him. Like in season one, in the finale, he lost, and then after, and then after in Chozetsu, they had the one match and they broke the stadium, and I think it was a draw. And then after, yeah, then he just got this. Well, you could count Volt beating Louis if you count the tag team as a win, I guess, but never like direct against Louis. He's always struggled against Louis, man. Oh, that was so cool, though. And, uh, you know, they're like, oh, sucks that we lost. And uh, next week is Shu with uh, Lane and Iger and Rantaro. So my prediction for this one is Shu and Lane. But I have a feeling. This is when I have a feeling. I have a feeling that Ragnarok is going to do a lot more than we expect. I think they might actually manage to stop. It's either uh, Spriggan stops, Lucifer the End stops, and the other one carries. I think that Lucifer at the end might be the one that maybe gets KO'd or something and Shu uh, manages to defeat Iger and Ranjiro. I, I, I think is when you see the moment like that when Shu is kind of like staring at Lane, you think, okay, well, what is he thinking? I think he's trying to reflect on uh, Lane. 
But, uh, yeah, I don't know. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. This was a sick episode. My, did that shot of, of, of Dragon, of uh, Longinus versus Valkyrie is so sick, man. That's why I wish, why didn't they just do 1v1s, man? I, how cool would it have been just to see just Valkyrie against Longinus? Like, yeah, the tag teams are cool and all, but uh, I don't know, maybe it's just me. Anyways, hope you all have a fantastic day and bye.